Welcome to DIY Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie, the body shop girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. Okay, now that our Bondo has dried to a nice hard firm substance, if you look right here you can see that it breaks right off, we're going to go ahead and start sanding this. Now, I normally use uh, air tools, okay, but uh, knowing that I'm showing you how to do this in your home, at your house, okay, more than likely you don't have air files and air tools, and that's another day and another story, so I'm going to show you how to do this by hand, okay which I don't like doing because I'm an air tool guy and I like using air tools, but uh, we're going to go ahead and do this. Okay, you're going to need a piece of 36 grit sandpaper. Now what this is, this is 36 grit file paper. It's sticky on one side, of course 36 grit on the other. Okay, and uh, what I do is I cut that paper in half and then what I take and I go ahead and fold it. So I got me a nice piece that I can use my hand with, see? Then what we're going to do is we're going to use a hard block, okay? This is just a typical hard sanding block, nice flat surface, but it's very, very hard. It's made of rubber, okay, and it has just a slight flex to it, just enough that we need. Now we're also going to need a special block, okay, and I call this a teardrop block. If you look at it, it's shaped like a teardrop, okay. And I use that block to get in uh, such areas as our round section right here, see, so that's going to help us mold that and get it the way we want. Okay, so we got a flat block. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our block sander here, okay, and I'm going to start blocking that down. But before I do any of that, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this hangover lip that I got right here, okay. And if it breaks off, that's fine. Just let it break off. Once it breaks off, okay, now I, I need to show you this because it's very important. Once that piece breaks off, if you look right here, you can see, okay, it's a... Uh, a dark pink and a light pink. Once you get that to where you want it sanded down, okay, you want to be very careful in that section that you're filling in. You don't want to go past that. You want to keep that line nice and clean all the way down and you don't want to uh, make that a dip because then what's going to happen is you're just uh, defeating your purpose and you'll have to start all over. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my hand block and I'm going to block that edge until I start hitting metal, okay? Once I see that I'm hitting metal, I'm going to stop. I'm going to go ahead and get this as well, the same way that I just did the side. I'll get the top, okay? Okay, so we went ahead and squared it up, okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to sand that to perfection, okay? I'm going to sand that where it starts feathering out and I get rid of all my excess Bondo. Be very careful to watch this lip right here and take your time. Watch the technique that I'm using to sand. I'm not going back and forth. I'm going at a downstroke crisscross motion here. I'm not going back and forth like this because I want to take my paper and hit it down. If you notice, I haven't even hit this area yet, okay? Now, you can see where it's dark pink here and light pink. Okay, I'm feathering that out to where I need to have it filled. Because now what I'm doing is I'm concentrating on this outside edge because I want that to feather into the quarter panel and out to the, you see what I'm saying? I want it to feather out. I don't want to take any more off here, so I'm going to go toward the area that I want to keep. Now on my final sand right here with my 36, I'm going to go straight down. And what, I, what that's going to do, that's going to square it all up. And I'm going to do that in a slow, even pace. And then I'm going to use my uh, teardrop round block. I'm going to do the same thing here. The reason I'm using that, if you look at the square block, it doesn't really fit too good in the... Okay? And... Uh, it's going to take more out than I want. So I take my teardrop block and I'm holding the paper on there just like you see. 
And I'm also going at a crisscross motion, okay? I'm standing up and back at the same time. So I'm going up, okay, and at a side action. You see what I'm saying? I'm going up and side at the same time, which gives it that crisscross action that I want. I'm going to concentrate on this edge right here because don't forget we got a deck lid that fits right here and we got to feather that out so everything will flow together. Now I'm going to work my way to the outside of our, uh, our quarter panel here where the uh, quarter panel extension fits on. I'm going to go ahead and work my way to get that where it needs to be blocked out. I'm going to come to the back side of it and now I'm going to go toward to the area that I'm keeping. And as you see, you can see that it's all feathering out very nicely and it looks very, very good. And I'm sorry, but uh, we got to put a stop to this because a special guest has just walked into our shop and he just happens to be the very first employee that my friend Pete, Southwest Rod and Custom, Southwest uh, Paint and Body has ever, ever had before. His name is Walter Hampton. What's up, Walter? What's going on, Pete? Walter. What's going on, Pete? You're a little taller than I am, dude. Yeah. How you doing, bud? Good. Nice doing camera. Doing all right? Very good. And you're the very first employee I ever had, am I right? Somewhat, yeah. Hello, are you camera shy today, Walter? No, I'm not. Oh, okay. So what, what are you doing now? What's going You're not doing body work anymore? No. Nope. What do you do? I take pictures of cars. I see you got your camera there. Uh -huh. Did you come take a picture of the car in here? Or? No, the, uh, the nice bug outside. Oh, my bug? Okay, Maxwell. Yeah. Well, uh, I'm glad that you came over. I mean, you know, you're the first employee I ever had. You're the first guy that ever worked with me, dude. Actually, I learned a lot from you, bud. Yeah? Didn't I? You didn't learn to stop doing body work. Well, if it wasn't for you, though, I wouldn't have, uh, believe it or not, Walter actually taught me the right way to color sand and buff. Huh. Remember? I do. Do you got anything else to say? No. Thank you. Oh, actually, yeah. Pete, you always laid the paint out so slick it really didn't matter. Back in the day. I don't know about that. Except for the, the, the uh, small shop you were working in with no booth. Yeah, I don't know about that. But okay. Thanks for coming over, Walter, and being uh, shy on camera. We appreciate it. Sure, no problem. It, and we'll be back with this lesson once Walter leaves. Thank you very much, and have a great day. Uh, body work lessons, huh? Yeah. Teaching the youth. Yes. Remember that Mustang we did, your mom's friend's Mustang? Yeah, I hate these cars. I know. They suck, dude. especially when the guy gets ripped off $15,000 yeah. in another shop. I see you. Huh. Thanks for watching DIY Automotive School. Classes don't stop till you know everything.